Hey, welcome back. This is the USS Hornet, uh, based in Alameda, California. It has a lot of history to it. It was part of the Apollo um, recovery missions. It was part of World War II, Vietnam War, Korean War, um, and it's reported to be haunted. Um, so let's go take a look and see what we can discover. It should be an awesome trip. Well, for starters, um, check out this giant anchor. I haven't even gone into the ship yet, but look how big this anchor is. You would need an anchor that big to to um, anchor that ship. And the chain. I think that's a pretty amazing chain. So USS Hornet Museum says 41,000 tons of history. This is going to be good. Here's a little sign outside the front of it. I'll, I'll record it. If you want to read it, just pause the video. This thing's massive. Look at this thing. Pretty amazing. I was reading a little about it in the hole. The um, you see the very front, it's four inches thick, it's armor plated, so it's it ranges from four to two inch thick steel. That's kind of cool to get here. You got to go over this bridge here, so let's go aboard. Check out this bell right when you walk in. Solid brass. But that sounds awesome. So this is what you see right when you walk in. Got these amazing um, jets here. And the foldable wings. So they can fit more on them. As I recall, this plane was the first plane to hit supersonic speed. I did a little research last night. If that's true, that's pretty amazing. Every pilot was required to carry a Smith & Wesson 38 caliber revolver when they flew. Pilots carried tracer ammo in it for signaling at night as well as for personal protection. The details. Imagine being in that for a long period of time. That helmet's cool, huh? And you got this ejector seat. You've seen it in movies, you reach up and pull these down. And the top of the plane would open up and you'd be launched. And hopefully your parachute would open. And hopefully you wouldn't fall into enemy hands. Yeah, I was right. Uh, this was the first supersonic plane. F-8U-1 Crusade. Crusader. Again, if you want to read about it, just pause the video. I'm not going to read all the stuff out loud too much. Good air scoop for the jets. Reminds me of one of those uh, sea creatures.
little drawings of it. Different, I guess, different paint jobs depending on where they're going to be or where they were. So here's a, a helicopter, as you guys can see, obviously. Interesting, it's got disc brakes. And this, this the blades, they have them bent back for so not taking too much, um, what's the word, not too much uh, <laughs> space. And I think, as I recall, these were on uh, uh, rescue helicopters in the event. That they needed to go rescue someone. Looks like they just painted the rear rotor. Interesting, they got the uh, exhaust coming out the side. It's kind of hard to see in there. I was just talking to one of the guys and uh, because we're still in COVID, uh, they don't have the whole ship open. So I'll have to come back another time and do the full tour once COVID has been under control. But they have the flight, they have the um, flight deck and I forgot what he called the deck wrong. Open. Because there's enough air circulating in here. I'm not sure what these things are, but they're interesting looking. If anybody knows, put them in the comments. You can educate, educate me. And here's the parts that are closed. See down there? Normally you could go in all these places. Look at the size of this. It's just like massive. I'm not sure exactly what this place is for either. Oh, you know what? I do. You look up there. You see that? That is the elevator to move the planes um, from down here up to the top. The lift. So this would be in the down position. The plane could just roll right here. And I imagine they could load like um, munitions on it, bombs and things like that down there. And then up it goes. Yeah, you see the little um, hook. So here's information about the elevator that moved the um, planes up and down. Look at the, uh, the skeleton with the sickle or on the wing. Pretty neat. These jet engines. If you stand here, you'd be a crispy critter. I'm using my phone's um, light to see inside the. <laughs> Pretty cool. They got these mock up um, torpedoes and missiles. Hopefully they're mock-ups. Mm 
the intake for the jets. I don't want to stand here when this thing is going. to be in the nose of the plane. They don't look big in the sky, but these things, this is a huge plane. You know, once you get up close to it, it'll probably... Not sure what these mean. I guess these are the people that work flew it? I don't know. It looks like... I have to ask someone. So look at that flag here. The flag was flown on the USS Hornet February 16th, 1945 from a collection of the museum. Flown during combat operation off the coast of Japan near Tokyo. Wow. A lot, of, a lot of history there, huh? Hey, thanks for coming along with me to check out the USS Hornet. That was pretty exciting. A lot of things to look at. A lot to explore. I'm definitely going to have to come back and do a more intense video. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have any comments, I had a couple questions in there about things I didn't know about. I'll leave some comments. And other than that, thanks for coming along with the USS Hornet. All right, bye.